For the last video in this chapter, we're going to talk a little bit about deleting and recovering deleted items within our inbox. We've talked a little bit about this before when we were working with our folders. I just want to make sure that we know how to access, how to delete different uh, items in our folders, and then also how to recover them if we ever encounter an event where we accidentally deleted something that we need um, in a future time. So let's jump right into our inbox here. And just as a refresher on how to delete an item, uh, there's multiple ways to do so. Number one, I can just right click on the email. And if you notice way at the bottom there, I have the option to delete. Um, I can also just click on the trash can icon that appears to the right of the email when I highlight over it. Or, as I always like to say, go up to our trusty friend, the ribbon. At the top of the page here, you'll notice that we have the option here to delete the item there as well. So we're just going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to use the trash can icon here. It's disappeared. But as I've mentioned, it doesn't, doesn't disappear permanently. Where did it go? Well, it just moved to a brand new folder. And this folder is the deleted items folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice here that I have a couple of the different emails that I've deleted. The PowerPoint email that we deleted earlier appears right here. So, a couple things to mention. Let's say, for example, that this was unintentional. I did not mean to delete this. How do we recover it? Well, the easiest way, or one of the easiest ways we, we can do that is just by clicking and dragging this email out of the deleted items folder and back into our inbox. And if we go back into our inbox, you'll see, bam, it's right here. It's good to go. Another way that we can recover an email that we didn't mean to delete is we can click on it, we can right click, and we can move it. So if we go down just a bit down here, there's a move section, and we can choose whether to move that into our inbox or move it into another folder. Um, if that's a bit too small or not the easiest to read, um, another place to look in terms of moving anything is if you go back up to your ribbon, you'll notice that we have the option here to move the item back to our inbox. Now let's say we want to delete something for good. Um, again, Outlook will automatically delete any items that are in the deleted item folders after 30 days um, or a certain number of time that you can set as well. But if, for example, you don't want to wait, you want to just clear out the folder, um, what you can do is just click on an email here, navigate on up to the trash can, click the trash can, permanently deleted. We're going to say yes, we know that it's going to be gone forever, and we're good to go. One thing to know is when you're in the deleted items folder, you may get this pop-up here from time to time. It says, recover items recently removed from this folder. What that does is anything that was permanently deleted, we can recover yet again. So again, Outlook is giving you as many chances to, you know, to quickly grab whatever it is that you were missing. Uh, so say, for example, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it and that email from Ellen I really shouldn't have deleted. Well, I can choose to come back in here and say restored selected items and it'll come right back. Or I can purge it, which means, okay, this time for real, for real, it is now gone. You're not going to get it back at all. So, you know, this email from Ellen, I, yeah, you know, I want to bring it back. Uh, so I can restore it that way. Right. So again, just to recap, to delete something, just hit the trash can icon or hit the trash can icon up at the top of the ribbon. Navigate to your deleted items folder. After a certain amount of time, these will automatically delete for you. Um, if you want to permanently delete it, hit the trash can icon again. If you want to recover the item, click and drag and move it to the folder that it pertains to. You can right click on it and hit move. And a quick little trip uh, for some of us who are using the classic ribbon. Um, and if, to remind you, if you're using the classic ribbon, what you do is you actually navigate here up to the ribbon on the right hand side and click the downward facing arrows. You can click to this more classic view. And here in the classic view, you'll have the option uh, to recover deleted items from the server. So just like a handy little, neat little trick I like to show just for those who like the, the more classic view. Uh, but it's as simple as moving it to where you want it to go. So I find it's really important to know where things go uh, to be laid to rest once we delete them. Please know that you always have access to them until such time as you make the move to permanently delete them once again. Uh, so always good to know. We always make those mistakes sometimes of accidentally deleting something. They're, they're there. They're waiting for you. If you need to recover it, please do. If you want to delete it permanently, either let Outlook do the work for you or you can manually do it yourself.